Busy, busy, busy. Uh, so it's Sunday, and by the time this gets uploaded, the, I'll be doing the live stream today at four o'clock. Um, this is the Eclipse TC9 that we got from Josh out of Cali. He drove all the way out here to deliver them. Thank you. Um, the client, uh, the the guy that wanted me to build these out, I said, yeah, I can build you these out for blah, blah, blah. And uh, I said, we can do them like a Ryan HCCA. Now, technically, they're not like the 15. The 15D used dual one inch slugs, which is technically the TC9 Plus motor. Um, I taught, when Tilo reintroduced it back in, I think, 07, um, I asked him, I said, well, I thought the TC9 was this motor, which was the dual three quarter inch, uh, the one based on the Orion HCCA 10D and 12D. And, and off the top of his head, he goes, uh, whatever, TC9 plus. He's like, <laughs> he, he was re he was reissuing, uh, he had some old parts and he was putting them together. And so he decided to call that the TC9 plus, which is the dual one inch slugs as the TC9, the new version at the time. And, uh, he was touting 25% more BL, and that was because it uses dual one inch slugs. So the the box requirement is gonna be about the same, which is about three to four cubic foot. Um, we've I've done these before on the TC9 and also on the TC7, uh, which is a s smaller diameter version, but also uses a three inch coil. It's on par with like um, a Rockford Fosgate Punch HX2. Punch, not power. And uh, so this one should turn out the same. We did four gauge uh, spring terminals. Uh, the new spring terminals that we got uh, have these long extender things, which are gonna be great for when we do the, the TI frames. Cause sometimes when you're doing like recones on the TI frames, you can't get in there and solder. But, but if you have this on there, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room to, to bring that all the way out if you want. So um, let's see, we did our spider, uh, eight inch spider clamp, did spacers underneath. Uh, these are the copper coils. I think I got these from uh, No, these are the Mexican ones so um, from my buddy in Mexico uh, copper very nice uh, 50 millimeter wine height, so it's about the max you want to do on the Either the TC9 or TC9 plus you don't really want to go more than that and then uh, to kind of reimagine or re sort of pay respects to the original Ryan HCCA. The original cones for the HCCA were made by a company called Holly out of, I think, Paducah. And um, uh, I t last time I talked to Neil Kirchbaum, he said he didn't buy them. Um, he didn't buy RDM as well. RDM is Rapid Dye and Molding. Uh, Rapid Dye and Molding did a lot of dust caps for the industry in the 90s. Uh, Holly had this product and I, I, I'm sure that um, Neil, in his uh, factory down in Nogales, uh, he bought the New Way factory, N-U-W-A-Y, uh, where mostly they make spiders, but I think they can also make cones. But anyways, I digress. Uh, it's a, at the time it was called a large surround because most of the surrounds back then were like only half inch. So I think this is actually 30 millimeter uh, diameter, maybe a little bit bigger. This one I got from uh, the Lord of Bass. Um, and it was used um, by NCA Labs to build the Memphis LVS, uh, or Elvis, as it may be called. And uh, so it fits the Memphis cap in here, the Mojo uh, cap pretty well. And you can also do the full uh, dish cap if you wanted as well. Uh, I wanted to put the 180 uh, carbon fiber, but it doesn't quite fit right. Like it kind of fits, but it just hits up here at the ridge and I didn't really want that. So um, I went ahead, and, you know, if it doesn't fit, just go bigger, right? Stretch your butthole out. And so, oh no, that's not the one, this one. So I went ahead and went up, moved it up to the 200 millimeter. Uh, it looks a little ridiculous, but that's what he wanted. And then we're gonna do the HCCA stickers that uh, Jeremy Dad made for us a long time ago. Uh, I went ahead and drilled out the holes. We're gonna do the regular TC Sounds gasket, uh, I believe. Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's what it originally came with it. So this one's done. Hey, you know what? Let's do, uh, let's do the sticker real quick and uh, some parameters just to make sure I'm in the ballpark.
That was the floppiest of buttholes. Yeah, 20 hertz, baby. 20 hertz FS. Uh, QTS is 0.54. Don't pull off the sticker, yay. The trick on these uh, HECA stickers uh, is to peel from this side. Because otherwise this one right there, that little guy comes up, this little guy comes up. Um, yeah, I've heard hillbillies call this that uh, it's HECA base. Uh, this stands for high current competition. Um, and then when Bernie first came out with it, it was the uh, amplifier, and then later they changed it to audio when they introduced the subwoofers. So it's high current competition uh, audio. And um, the marketing on these was actually to work in small sealed boxes. And then people realized that if you put it in an oversized ported box, oh my God, talking about lots and lots of bass. And so that's where it really sort of took off. Um, I have this. I want to do, do this as a giveaway. Um, we will randomly give this one away. This is like a $20, $25 sticker. This is the original Orion Make It Intense with Orion Car Audio from the factory buyout back in 2003. It's still good. I'll give that away to one random uh, jizzler in the live stream later today. In fact, by the time this uploads, it'll, it'll be ready to go. So uh, VAS is obviously kind of high. We could, we could have used a stiffer spider to bring this down. However, what you can do is just use a smaller enclosure. That's another way to go. So in fact, if you run these numbers, right, FS 20, let's, we'll say 20, uh, QTS say 0.6, VAS at uh, 5.7 cubic feet. To get 20 hertz, you need 5.7 cubic feet. Do we really need to get 20 hertz? No. So you can go with the standard three to four cubic foot and do very well, especially if you tune to about 32, 33 hertz. It'll be quite pronounced in that area. And that's what you get every time you have a high BL, high excursion woofer. Um, this is especially true when you look at the specs on the uh, internet archive of the TC Sounds website under the TC5200 that uses the 4HP motor. Not so much on the LMS. LMS compromises that, it compromises a lot of BL force in the name of linearity. And I, I don't like that compromise. So I like attack, I like precision, I like force, I like awesome. And so that's why I go with non-linear coils, which is a just a long coil. I did get a little stinky, but I was definitely moving it out of the gap, so. But I love you guys, I'll see you at the live stream. Um, again, uh, comment Jizzler, and I will give away this original Orion Intense sticker to you this week. Love you guys, talk to you later.